Here we're going to show the installation of our 5.2 EXD solenoid valve onto our pneumatic actuator. So we come around to installing it in the box, you will have a 3.2 adapter plate and a 5.2 adapter plate. Always use the 5.2 adapter plate, do not use the 3.2. See it says 5.2 on the plate, that's the one you want to choose. The reason why you always choose a 5.2, even if it's a spring return pneumatic actuator, is you get clean air into both sides of your actuator. It's not going to mean that it won't fail safe if you lose air, the spring will still take over. This will just make your actuator last longer. You're not pulling air in from the atmosphere, you're always using clean air. So put the socket set screws through, put it over the Nomura interface, make sure the O-rings are on the adapter plate, which we did, and tighten them onto the front of the valve. This will hold the 5-2 valve onto the face of the actuator and use the O-ring seal between the two faces. Once they're tight, we'll put on air here. So the air is on and this is still in its resting position. So you can see that the actuator is in its closed position. Now we're not going to put power to this for this demonstration, but what we are going to use is the manual override on the side. Now you can see the A and M position. You see the vertical line on the manual override lines up with the dash next to the A. The A is for advanced. This means the manual override's off. If we rotate that horizontally 90 degrees, the manual override then comes on. You can see that the valve actuated. We'll just cycle that. That's off. Turn the manual override on. The valve cycles. That's how you install 5.2 EXD solenoid valve.